VPN remote access. By the end of this training, you'll be able to configure remote access VPN. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. It has two main flavors. One is remote access when you allow remote users using laptops, mobile devices to connect securely to your remote gateway and site to site which allows two remote gateways to communicate with each other securely setting up a virtual private network. In this video we'll discuss the remote access. I really like this menu from the web UI because it summarizes all of those different VPN flavors we offer. Each setting has a simple checkbox and the instructions telling you how to set it up with even uh, links to applications and everything you need is right here from this menu. So we'll jump to the web UI and show you how to do it yourself. So what we're going to do is we have the quantum spark on our uh, artificial WAN network and I have a few mobile devices on this WAN network and I'm going to connect over VPN to my quantum spark. From VPN, blade control, I'm going to enable Windows VPN client, set up the pre-shared key. In this case, it's gonna be VPN123. And if you'll click how to connect, you have all the information you need right here. Same goes for mobile client, checkpoint VPN clients, or an SSL VPN, if that's what you're fancy. Same goes for checkpoint VPN clients, mobile client, SSL VPN, just enable it, follow the instructions, and you're good to go. One more thing I'll need to do is to set up a user. So I'm going to remote access users, add. I'll set up the username, password, I can set up email, phone number, and other comments as well. Press apply. As you can see, I have mobile client enabled, which enable VPN remote access mobile clients to connect via checkpoint mobile VPN client. On the right, I have my mobile phone. So I'm going to my business applications, capsule connect. I have the username, simple Rick, my password, and you can clearly see that I'm connected. And if I'll go and see the connected remote users, I can see simple Rick is indeed connected. This is another laptop that I have and I've set up Simple Rick to set up a VPN connection. I've added the gateway's IP address, my username. And now all I need to do is to enable VPN. And you can see I'm connected. And here's my remote connection. And back on the Watchtower app, I can go to Internet, VPN, I can still see the site-to-site -site VPN tunnel. And if I'll go to Users, I can see Simple Rec is connected from two different IP addresses. From the Logs and Monitoring tab, I can go to VPN Tunnels. Here's the site-to-site -site VPN tunnel that I have. And to see the remote VPN users, I'll need to go to VPN Connected Remote Users. And by the way, to add the user, if I were to have Active Directory enabled, I could have just used the Active Directory users as the remote VPN users as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.